What it do, what it does, what it be like. It's your boy, Black Girl, a.k.a. Dr. Haas, and this is the Doctor's Orders Podcast. Once again, no need for apologies. I'm sure y'all used to this by now. It's been a little minute since the uh, last episode was able to be brought to you. But uh, here we are. One more time, one more again. Uh, it's been so long, actually, that the year is almost over, bro. We almost off in 2020. But um, it shall be coming in with a bang. We got plenty of big things popping. Little things dropping. We are not bullshitting with y'all. Excuse my French if you're offended. Uh, give a damn if you're not. A lot of stuff been going on this year. Dead serious. Uh, on, on a serious tip, I mean, a lot of a lot of unlearning and relearning going on on my end. Uh, relationships with people. A lot of a lot of thought has gone into those. A lot of effort has gone into those that counted, and a lot of distance has gone into those that hasn't. And uh, you shall see how everything unfolds moving forward, messing with, uh, you know, your Dr. Highs. Uh, just trying to keep it real gang, gang. It's real close to a real one birthday, so shout out to me. A uh, couple more days, man. Lord, said the same. I'm going to be 33 years old, so we're going to keep the ball rolling and uh, give all praises to the Most High for that once, once we get to that point. But uh, it's a lot of other things been going on, uh, music-related. Got a lot of projects, got my hands in, hands and feet in. You can definitely say we put put my feet off into this one. I ain't going to get too much detail. I'm going to leave that one there. But uh, I am going to speak on just a real awakening that's going on in the 2019. Just kind of a realizing uh, who I am as a man. And I think a lot of people close to me have done the same. Have done a lot of self-reflecting uh, here in the 2019 and beyond. We plan to grow much more and get a lot more things done, uh, a lot more accolades under our belt. But um, it, it's been a struggle, to say the least. I wish I had, wish I had a couple of folk in here give me an amen. Uh, but at the same time, shit, I don't really need no co-signer for my own personal testimony. Things have been rough to uh, to say it in the nicest nicest way. But a lot of changes were made. Uh, career changes were made, friendships were made, friendships were broken, a lot of things, man, a lot of things, but through the grace of the Most High, here we are, to run it one more again with you on Doctor's Orders, so without any further ado, we'll jump right off into the daily diagnosis, let you know what's happening, going on, uh, you know, around these ways, these days, so, uh, yeah, just to start it off, man, shout out to homegrown hero, legend, uh, Master P. Got a gourmet ramen noodles out. Yep, you heard me right. That man has gourmet ramen noodles. Ramen noodles in various different flavors um, that are pretty much southern based. I think he got like a oh, chicken gumbo flavor one. I think he got, he got all kinds of shit. Y'all go look that up, man. Y'all know he had the wrap snacks. Uh, the potato chips and they they are they're pretty decent every flavor i've tried most of them so y'all go uh support the no limit entrepreneur himself mr master p shout out to him we all looking up to him down here anyway because uh, this is the guy he, he's lived the entire ghetto dream this nigga so dope this nigga rapped and this nigga played basketball at a professional level so he literally comp completed the trivecta that the African American male in most hoods nationwide dream of getting themselves into some type of riches. So shout out to him for that. Uh, what else went down? Uh, oh, speaking of basketball and speaking of the side, we're going to go uh, straight over to our homegirl Lizzo. Shout out to Lizzo. Uh, Ace Town's finest. I did not know she was from Houston. I have to look that up. Um, but she was in L.A., couple days ago at the Lakers game, peeping out LeBron and, and such, and uh, I don't know how to put it, but you already know she's, you know, BBW, beautiful, bigger woman, and uh, she is very confident in herself, she has no problem showing her body, she's shown us that numerous times during her performances and photographs and, uh, and you know, Instagram posts and such, so we know that she's not very embarrassed of her body, right? Well, that for sure would give me a reason to believe that she had no fucks given that night when she went to the Staples Center. She had on a dress or pants or whatever, something. 
uh, with the ass completely cut out. Yes, the, the cheeks of the ass were cut out of the the garment. And uh, she ended up uh, being on camera or something. I don't know if it made the Jumbotron or whatever. It was a TV camera. I don't know. But she got up, man. And she started popping it and twerking it and, and showing the naked ass in the great state of California. And it was, it was quite a sight to see. So that was um, embarrassing to an extent. Slight bit cringeworthy. Not because of her size or her confidence level by any means. I'm, I'm not shaming her. But um, I will say that that was just inappropriate for a human being of any sort. Uh, male, female, black, white, big, small, uh, to have their ass protruding and gyrating in the air in such a way that it did that night. Uh, a naked ass is no place for, uh, there's no place for the naked ass uh, in the Staples Center during an NBA game. But at the same time, shout out to Lizzo. You're mighty brave, my girl. You're mighty brave. Uh, on a not so light note, um, Juice World. Uh, passed away a couple of days ago. Uh, he was barely 21, just made 21. Uh, I'm not sure the exact cause of death, but from what I'm understanding, it was it was opioid related. So and it's just a problem that we don't really speak on in our community much. No one really shines light on it, and we also do not give flowers while the people are here because I didn't really listen to Juice World much. But I, I watched a couple of interviews and just seen some behind the scenes on him, listened to a couple of his songs. And I, and the fact of the matter is he seemed like another good guy. You know, he seemed like a very pure individual. Uh, another life gone uh, well too soon. So all of our thoughts and prayers are going to be with the, with the family of Juice World. Um, I really don't know what else is popping in the world because I've been in my own little bubble. But that, for the most part... Uh, that's gonna be your daily diagnosis. Now, before I jump off into this double dose, uh, you know, I, just just a random thought here. Don't take too much for granted, man, because not necessarily saying you might not be here tomorrow, because that is very true. You know, time is we are all on borrowed time. That is very true. But the the, the real point is, don't take nothing for granted because nothing can be the same from yesterday on to today and tomorrow it's just the changes happen fast man i'm sure that this man had an agenda or that he had plans i'm sure the people around them had plans and you know just or even in general just the situation that you may be in you might not be in the best situation um, but if you live to fight another day and make your situation a tad bit better uh, there's no telling where you could end up and then you could look back at this point and basically either laugh, smile, or cry depending on how serious it is, how much of a transition you've made. So just a little two cents. I just want to spit that out there. Um, because of the, the fact that, you know, we ain't really done the podcast in a minute. We're still waiting on a couple of the, of the co-hosts and the guests to come and, and sit down with your boy. I got a, a lot of things lined up. Uh, we're going to keep it real short. Uh, for this episode, I just want to kind of get back into the swing of things and kind of, you know, get back in your in your ear canals because I know it had been a while. You might have heard my voice on a little freestyle or a song here or there, but y'all ain't really heard, you know, just me speaking that real Dr. High shit. It's what y'all requested. Uh, I have no problem bringing it to the table as long as you're listening. I will be talking. So once again, don't take nothing for granted because you just don't know what the outcome will be. And if you'll be around to see it. So, everybody, please stay tuned. Still high. Jump right off into the double dose uh, to kind of play along with what I just spoke on uh, about taking things for granted. Uh, the topic of the day is going to be about sacrifices. Um, really just giving up something to gain something greater. Because, um,. I mean, I guess you're trying to figure out how that's tied into the don't take anything for granted statement I spoke on. But the fact of the matter is, you have to sacrifice something very important to you uh, to gain something that will probably be of greater value to you later. And if you uh, make the choice to not sacrifice something, 
uh, anything rather to get to a, a greater goal you're doing yourself a disservice because you literally don't know how much time you have to get this done and once again not meaning time on this earth I just mean time for that particular window of opportunity you know there's only so many opportunities you're gonna get there's only so many good people in this world that you're gonna meet there's, there's really only so many chances that you're gonna be able to take and a lot of times it's not age related but in certain certain situations it is age related man the older you get the less susceptible you are to uh, these opportunities. So you want to jump on. You know how they say the youth is wasted on the young? I, I can vouch for that now, uh, you know, getting older by the day. I mean, 33 years old at the end of the week, Lord, I say the same. So, of course, it's not. I'm not much of an elder, but still a long way away from 17, 18, 20, 21, you know, those those ages of just kind of getting into seeing what's what. I wasn't very sure about sacrifices. I didn't know what, um, I didn't know if I'd reap what I sow by applying pressure and putting in work towards my goals. A lot of things, I didn't have a lot of goals at, at that point in my life. I didn't have a lot of things organized in my mind. I always had drive and willpower, but you know, it's just like jumping in a car and riding around the block, just joy riding, like you just burning gas. If you ain't got no destination, or at least no, no point that you would like to eventually reach and shoot for, because the part that you're gonna have to enjoy the most is the ride. Let's 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 make that very clear. Your journey is what's gonna bring you the most joy. It's not gonna be the destination or the or the plateau that you reach, or you know the goal that you accomplish it's not going to necessarily be that you got to enjoy the process and the journey of reaching those uh destinations or the whole or the whole thing can be thrown out the window i mean let's let's really think about it you're going to be spending the majority of your life mashing towards something uh if you don't enjoy doing it or if you don't enjoy the process of getting to it uh, you won't appreciate none of the actual accolades that could come from achieving the goal. Or if you fall short of the goal, you will literally be done wasted all of that time of your life on something that you did not love to do or something that you did not have passion for. Uh, which goes back to the sacrificing. Some of these things that we got to sacrifice, we don't want to let go, y'all. I fight a few of them myself to this day, but the fact of the matter is if you want better, you must do better, and if you want anything to be given to you, uh, spiritually, relig religiously, whatever, however you want to think, the Most High will not, I repeat, will not put you in a position to get anything greater if you're not willing to let go of something right now. Uh, I think Eric Thomas says it. Uh, the best possible way um, I forget how he says it man I know y'all listen to him If y'all listen to me uh, But but the best way he was saying I, I can't really remember I, I really can't I went blank But if y'all just peep out E.T. He says a lot of great things Along those lines But um uh, It's killing me I want to say it goes along the lines of You got to be willing to At any moment Sacrifice who you are for who you want to be I think it goes something like that man Forgive me if I misquote him But th that's just real That's real spiel Bill I mean let's keep it gangster If you can't drop your everyday lifestyle Your everyday habits Your everyday tendencies Even when it comes to possessions Or, or, or even relationships with people If you can't cut things short And give things up And give things away to get to that point in your life that you are, I don't, I don't even want to say comfortable because comfort ain't good, but just, just happy. If you can't get to the point that you can give up something that makes you happy now to receive something that could keep you happy for an extended period of time, even your whole life maybe. I mean, it's just you got to learn how to be able to get to that point. You have to. And I'm saying that to you guys as I am looking in the mirror. Dead serious. There's things that I need to give up. There are things that I need to let go of. 
There are things that are that no longer serve me, and uh, I've received all the signs that have told me these things. So it's up to me as a grown man, as an individual, uh, to let those things pass me by in order to receive the greater prize. So not to go long and drawn out about it, but my bottom line is you got to sacrifice something. Uh, you got to stand for something or fall for anything. I've said it a lot. I've heard it a lot. And uh, just to bring it full circle, none of this is promised. You cannot take any situation or any idealism for granted because it could be gone in the blink of an eye. Yeah, yeah. So uh, without any uh, hold up, keep the ball rolling. It's time to give you guys the truth pill for episode 11. I know it's been a little while, so if y'all know what the truth pill is, uh, you just take a special quote that I hold close to my heart. It could be from mine. It could be from anyone else. Uh, of inspirational means. But just a little something to get you kick-started, something to make you uh, think just a tad. So, uh, yeah, straight to the point. The phrase for the day does come from myself. Black girl, a.k.a. Dr. House. And uh, it, it's basically about taking criticism. You know, uh, you got to embrace the criticism, or you just embrace when somebody trying to tell you something. And the reason for that is this: a wise man will take notes, and a fool will take offense. And that is deeper than rap, ladies and gentlemen. I mean that from the bottom of my soul, because this is something that I fought with in my teens. And it seems like as soon as I became you know, an adult, if you will. When I was when I had a job and I was out the house and all that, I'm talking about 18, 19, early 20s, that's when I learned. That's when I realized, okay, cool. If somebody's taking the time out of their day to uh, give me a little feedback on how I'm rocking, it's not necessarily hatred coming from this type of person. Hatred usually comes from a person that want what you want or or want what you have, excuse me, or they want to be like you, they just want to have, the, they want to live the life that you live, and then you hear the, oh, if it was me, I would, or he shouldn't be doing it like this, he should, you, you start hearing that mumbo jumbo, and, and if you're anything like I am, I don't rock with that, I, I turn that negativity down to the lowest notch, I don't want no part of that shit, I'm, I, I'm liable to not even reply, but, if there's a person, preferably of more experience than you, maybe elder than you, maybe a, in a higher stature than you are, even equal to you, that has some words of advice or words of wisdom for you, or, or, or has a point of view on how they critique what they see from the outside looking in to your mind and to your life and to uh, your spirituality. Just take heed to it. That person cares enough about you to tell you where they see flaws. To tell you where they see an issue that can be corrected. That'll make you more of a successful member of society. Let alone just a better person overall. A better man overall. A better woman overall. <clears throat> if someone takes time out of their day to, to say anything to you, uh, don't get mad. Don't say they hating. Don't take such offense to somebody trying to straighten you out. Because to be honest with you, most motherfuckers ain't going to tell you nothing. They see you struggling. They see you doing something wrong. Or they see that you have, uh, you've been misinformed. Most people ain't going to stop and let you know. Where you went wrong at Most people will not point out The issue or the flaw That could really be responsible For your self destruction Or The destruction of The community, the village If you will Like we all gotta work Eat, live and raise our children Around each other on this planet Now how far or close away We are We got Buku choices behind that I mean some of us prefer to be In the thick of the hood The neighborhood Some of us prefer to be far away from other people Ducked off in the country Miles apart from their next neighbor That matters not 
Not in these days. Not in the 2019 shit. We, we basically in 2020 now. Not in 2020. We got phones. We got internet. We got everything. We got too much access to each other. We, we see too much of each other to uh, completely avoid the criticism of the next man. Like somebody's going to have something to say. It's your job to be wise enough to decipher the difference between the two. Uh, there will be an occasional hater. There will be a venom spitter every now and again. But for the most part, if somebody's telling you what you've done that may be incorrect, or somebody sees the opportunity to coach you, uh, take notes, man. I mean, really study the malfunction in your operation. So that way, when your next ad back comes around, it's, it's no mistake that you will take advantage of your opportunity. Uh, prepare is the key word. Preparation plus opportunity equals success. We, we, we all know that. It equals success. But the, everybody wants the opportunity. I mean, folks crying that they ain't getting the opportunities when opportunity couldn't be more prevalent right now. I mean, it's so easy to create your own opportunities now, as I said, with the social media, uh, the internet, all the devices that we have. But nobody wants to prepare or nobody wants to be prepared. You know, when you have coaches or, or bosses, or on a family level, when you have parents or when you have elders and you don't listen to them, that, that's your fault. That's your weakness. You will lose on your own accord simply because you decided to take offense rather than to take notes and to take heed and to uh, put those positive pieces of information to good use. Instead, you took a positive piece of information flipped it and turned it into a negative to now not only are you closed minded to the information that this person is trying to pass to you but now you, you, you feel some type of way and you're holding some type of grudge towards the other person that's a double loss because it's very hard to run across opportunity in this world despite all of me explaining to you just now how easy it is to create your own still very hard to run across good opportunities that you have not created for yourself. Um, but it's even harder to run across good people. And if somebody's a good enough person. To take the time out. To look out for you. And speak to you. About your personal well-being. Or just something that will set you in a. Um, in a one up. Sort of situation. It will put you one step ahead. One step ahead of the competition. Uh, by all means take care of that relationship. I've been seeing the signs that they're. There's people that I need to be closer to in my own life. So I'm going to tell you the same thing that I'm telling myself once again. Sitting here behind this microphone tonight. If there's something you know you need to be doing. If there's some people that you know you need to be listening to. And if there's some hard truth pills that you have not been able to swallow. Man, drink it all even if it tastes too strong. Go with the flow. Plan it and wait for the opportunity. Or create the opportunity. So you could expect the greatest success. Yep, yep. So there you have it. Uh, shit, we running up on the end of this podcast here, man. I'm about to let y'all go, but before I do, uh, I'm gonna leave y'all with the uh, with the refill, as always. Uh, this this go round the refill comes from Hebrews 13:16, and it says, "And do not forget to do good." And to share with others for such sacrifices God for with such sacrifices God is pleased. Um, I gotta agree with that. I gotta agree with that. Even though we do get weary in our well doing, even though we tend to want to question and ask why during our uh, trials and tribulations, during our low points, why us, why me, why this, why that. Um, and speaking of. Stand along the lines of sacrifice As I was speaking on earlier Sometimes we don't feel The instant gratification From our sacrifices Sometimes we have to kind of wait it out And see the direction that the most high Is going to take it It may not be what you want And it may not be when you want um, But believe it's on time 
and it's uh definitely necessary by all means so uh yeah man want y'all to take that with y'all pack that wrap it up in a bow tie sit that under your tree for the holiday uh if you will uh if you tend to celebrate it i'll say it that way but yeah man uh appreciate y'all for giving me y'all ear once again if you guys want to catch the doctor's orders podcast please check me out on the anchor app uh through that app you'll be able to catch me on spotify uh cast box uh, breaker uh, everything man everywhere you can find it everywhere uh, i'm gonna back down and throw it on youtube as i always do and uh until next time man stay up keep your mind on it 100.